Here comes the ground pretty fast. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I lived? Casey, you got a rocket? You dropped something. Oh! <laughs> I saw that coming in. Still made me jump. All right. I have no betting now. <laughs> that was funny. This time it started me in a biome of snow and ice. That was even better to watch it on the stream. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the cheat thing to get pain pills and meds and give myself full life and full health. Because on your very first day, wait, mark this down. On your very first day in the game, you will start out with full life, full health. Okay, how do I, what bullets uh, go in the uh, sniper so, rifle? So, I'm going to go uh, and get painkiller. Yeah, I have 762 in my inventory, but it's not. Get, the three should do that. Cooking. First aid. Uh, check to make sure it's not worn out. I'll use one of those uh, just to get my life back up. Nah, maybe two if fast. I need it. And I'll no, it get my health, health and bar. stuff up with some stew. Oh, yeah. I'm going to click R, see if it reloads it. Ah, uh, the there you go. And then uh, I'm sure. going to need one regular food and water. Well, usually it does it automatically when it gets down to zero. That's yeah. That's well, I think it was because it nope. was the first load. Um, I hadn't reloaded it yet. Yeah. Chili. Yeah, we get one chili, and I get one water, and one bandage. Nope, not all five. There. Okay, this is what I basically start with, with the exception of this stuff. This I'm eating right now to get my life back. Headshot. And so those are back. Now I'm going to hit this. rifle's cool. <laughs> okay, there's where I would start. Now I'm going to dump stuff. No, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Go like that. Now drop it. Go like that. Now drop it. Okay, now I'm going to move that over here. Move that over here. Move that over here. Whatever your biome. This is where you would start in 7 Days to Die. Looking at my map real quick. Well, it would probably be good if I am ate something. a bit of a ways away from... Oh, I'm a ways away. I don't know where everybody is. I could track them, though. Okay. I See, I haven't covered this area here, so I'm, I see some green there, so I'm going to turn around. I go exploring. I'm going to go like this. Now, I have no flying on. I'm not cheating. First thing you do, punch the ground. We take the, take the plant fibers. This is uh, seven days to die, 10.3. This is badgers. What to do on day one? Take two. You pick up some rocks, right. small stones. Excuse me. You need a bush. Yeah. Twigs. Get over that cold. Oh. Oh. It's that time of year. You can look around, see birds' nests, get plant fibers. I feel like I'm in a bomb site. Nothing. Uh, I can use them. I can use them. You can use these to make uh, arrows or bolts, rather. Okay. I need a few more rocks, though. If you're in a snow biome, don't, and you're just starting out, do not mess with, don't do it. Do not mess with the the uh, lumberjacks. You won't like it. You won't survive. That's poisonous. Don't eat the green sandwich. Oh, 
Badger. Okay, now. You there, Badger? Yeah. Hulks, 52 of you is up on the test center. Nice. So we're going to go one stick, one fiber, one axe. Craft gives me my first axe. Now you need that. Now it's already one in the afternoon on this server, so I don't have all day long here to mess around. I need to start, and I need to keep an eye out to make sure nothing's coming up on me. You start whacking through some trees. You need logs. Got some. Need more sticks. Got some. More sticks. More sticks. Logs. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna put the logs down here so I know how many how many I got. You need food, you need water, you need logs, you need game. Pick up every small stone. Oh, criminy. Battle rush. Welcome, welcome. Pick up every small stone when you're first starting this game out because you will need them for for arrowheads. You see stone, pick it up. Not the big behemoth rocks. This is how you start. Naked, nothing on you, no weapons. More rock. No. No way. You can stay one on multiplayer server. You can survive even if it's PvP. This is a freaking unlimited or not unlimited. Well, it might be unlimited. This is a randomly generated map. I certainly wouldn't go to a city on your first day. Not till you've gotten some armaments. Not till you've, you know, gotten some maybe some leather armor from killing some stuff. Your first goals are to pick up everything. Scavenge everything you can find. Everything that's useful. The, the green sandwich back there was not useful. Stone. Useful. Useful. Oh, God. You fucking made me jump. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. It's right. Made me you jump. <laughs> he thought you were a zombie. <laughs> you need logs, you need stones, you need sticks, you need plant fibers. So you hit the bushes, there's plant fiber. Plant fiber. Plant fiber. Plant fiber. Plant fiber. Plant fiber. 25 eyes of demon fire. 25 cube shards. Stone. 25 eternity splinters, 25 cosmic stone. world stones, 25 stone. armor research drives. Stone, Badger, search be the sure nest. You log into Marble Take Heroes the arrows. Today. Today's gift is a box of various currencies for the game. Stone. Look around, look around. Keep an eye out. If you Definitely get sensed, they're going to come for you. Way to find out? Hit control. You'll crouch. It says undetected. Cool. You could do all of this crouched. But uh, you uh, end up uh, not moving as fast. You can't run crouched. Yes, if I'm in an area where you see cotton, you pick it up. Cotton is used to make scraps of cloth. Scraps of cloth are used to make your first sleeping bag. Cotton, dead ahead of us. Literally dead ahead if I'm not careful. All right, remember in the daytime, zombies are slow, cumbersome, except for dogs. At nighttime, zombies are fast, 
very fast. Faster than you're going to be able to get away, I think. The stone axe is a useful tool. This is day one, okay? This is an example of day one. One, one can of food, one water, one bandage. Full health, full life. There we go. I didn't get to start out at 8 a.m. either. So you only have until nightfall. Once it's dark, you need to be in some sort of shelter. Whether you make it or find one. We're doing good. I continue to pick up fibers. You can always drop them if you don't need them. That looks like a hollow log up ahead. We'll check that out for sure. Yes, it does. You can also find clay, which you will use a little bit later um, as you make a forge and stuff. Boom, boom, boom. I got that boom, boom, wow. Let me get that boom, boom, wow. Oh, I didn't mean to hit. Pick up the cotton. Pick up the cotton. Don't chop the cotton. Just pick it up. Three, four, five. Stone, stone. Oh, yes, a good find, a good find. You don't look gift horse in the mouth. You take it and you say thank you and move on. Sticks, very important right now. Let me dig down just a bit. One second, inventory. This needs small stones to repair. I don't want to repair. It'll cost me too much in small stones. Small stones give me 30. I need to move this up. 200 and something? No, I'll just use one small stone and make myself a new one. Oh, wrong one. There. Craft. Put it next. I'll take that sand just to get it out of the way. But what I'm after is the red clay underneath. I want to get like just a you know if you're near you're near clay, pick some up because you will need it later. I don't know why I was double triple clicking. Cranberry's nice. Now I'm a bit down in a hole, which is okay. We'll 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 discuss holes too in a minute. another clay that's broke going on making another one I'm using the next one I'll take five clays Four. Should be five. Check the inventory. Five clays. Per okay, that's cool. Well, I'll take a six just to have an even number.
There we go. Now we get out of the hole and we move on. There's some more. Wait, another log? Or did I check that one? Oh, good, good, good. Uh, blueberries, you can eat them. Be back in a bit, guys. Yeah, I checked. All right, we'll see you later. Enjoy yourself, my friend. That's clay right on the surface. That's weird right on the surface. Junk. AFK for just a bit. Paper, glass, I don't care about them. We could use them later maybe, but not on day one. You really, you don't want that. Okay. All right, we're going to go across now. We're going to go inventory. You're going to type up here crossbow. C-R-O-S-S. -S. Crossbow, that's what you need. I've got enough. If it's the first time you're making it, you got to put the sticks in there just like that, and then you got to hit craft. Once you've done it and it's green, you can just hit craft, and it'll make you one. Now for the bolts, I got stone, sticks, and feathers. I need more stones. So I'm going to take 16 out. Because I need those for other things. And I got 12 and that. So I'm going to put that there. Put that down. Craft that. It gives me 12. Okay, now crossbow bolt. I'll hit shift. That gives me seven arrows. It's better than none. And we'll pick up more. Okay, so we already have our first weapon. Don't drown. And all sneaky like a seal. The brass could come in handy later, but I'm not using it now. Cloth fragments, big time. You need those to make a sleeping bag. I need more sticks. Got enough out of that. More stones for sure. I got nearly a, an entire stack of wood so far. More feathers help. Okay, hit inventory. What am I needing most? More sticks. saw the cotton stone. I need stones to a lot of them. Let me take out a couple more trees here. Big stones help with early iron fragments and faster collection of small stones. That's true, although they make a lot of noise when you bang on them with a stone axe. That is true, though. Six. There's some more. Now I deliberately killed myself and, and put away my sleeping bag so I could spawn wherever in the entire game. And I deliberately um, just put myself back. I don't have anything in my inventory but what I've collected now. No perks. No special stuff. Not flying, no sneaking, no... S the server is currently on creative because of a mess up of something else. What he was talking about, about the rocks, I'll take this rock. It will take a while. Cranberries are yummy. Okay. We're moving here now. You 
won't find anything in the rusted out hulks although if you beat them long enough you can get scrap not something badgers up for on his first day blueberries That can help turn into scrap. Metal helps to get you better stuff. Golden rod for tea. Looking at the chat. Okay, cranberries are yummy. I am caught up on chat. More goldenrod. More. 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 More sticks. More sticks. More sticks. To make your first sleeping bag, you're going to need 14 cotton. Takes Oh, okay. Here's your first encounter. I could shoot her, but it would waste. You hit, back up. Hit, back up. Hit, back up. Oop, oh, missed. Got her down. Oh, another one. Nothing. This is my dance. Even with a preliminary weapon. Even with a preliminary weapon. Pain pills, yes. A good thing to have. Okay. Now there's a couple of them that came from that area, so I'm gonna maybe not just go right up over that ridge. That's a little more sandy than I want. Pick some up, though. I'm going to quickly crouch, see if I'm detected. I'm undetected. I'm going to go back here. going to go bolts. I got 11 more. Craft it. Oh, I made one more. What was I short on? Sticks, feathers. I got 29, 29, and 11. Why am I short? Oh, it only did that. There's 11 more. Boom. Okay. I got 19 now. Okay, cool. That's a zombie way over there. The more you kill, the bigger the hot spot becomes, which attracts even more. So you keep moving, picking up your items. You know now, sticks. Right, the little shrub brushes. Damn it. Hoping to find some more water. Cotton. Okay, now, inventory, clothing, cloth, gloves, cloth, cloth, chest, no, not cloth, uh, plant, plant fiber pants, 
So I'm gonna, where's my plant fibers? Boom, boom. I'm gonna go craft them all. Gives me 29 plant, plant fiber pants. Oh, I haven't made them yet. This is an example. So now I gotta go like this. Put one in each one. There we go. Crafted them. Put them here. Go to my character. Drag them up. Drop them on. There we go. I got some plant fiber pants. Okay. Uh, so now we're back here. That uh, gives me... I don't know. Oh, nothing much. It just gives me so I'm not so naked. Stones. Sticks. 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 Sticks and stones will save your ass. We're at 60 on the um all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring down this this boulder here while keeping an eye out. Matter of fact, uh, here's another trick you can do. If you're chopping on something, crouch. If you see it change, if you see it change, you'll know you are no longer undetected. The tower is going well. It had to be, well, the, the, the new tower is going well. We were building it yesterday, and then the server crashed on us as a result of a hotfix. Crashed on us while we were mid-playing, and it set everything back to the way it was on Wednesday. So we lost a lot of time. So that's not cool. Uh, Khaleesi, though, in her kindness, gave us a bit of time with creative mode on. It's still on, actually, but we're not using it. Or I'm not using it right now. I'm demonstrating what you do on your first day in Seven Days to Die. You collect logs. You collect sticks, twigs. Try to find whatever food you can. Water is a big deal. Yes, nice. I don't care about that. I can use it as scrap, though. Pick that up. Don't go into a blasted land. You see the ground all gray. You see, you know, the ground look like it's been hit with a nuke. Stay out of that till you've got better gear. Deer. Beautiful. Get the weapon. Aim. Hit reload the first time. Now he was hit. Now he's going to die because the new arrows cause bleed out. There he is. He's died. Now this is important. You'll take the food, but the minute you do, bingo, you become a beacon. You can take the hide. The, the fat is used for cooking for making tallow. Leave the bone behind. Get away from the guts. You just got a windfall right there. Take the eggs. Take the stone. Back to the axe. Chop down. Get twigs. You don't waste your shots. Make sure you hit it. Put that red dot on it. If it's moving, try to see if you can wait for it to stop. Because with the arrows, the arrows are subsonic, which means if they're moving, you have to lead them a little bit. Oh, zombie right up there. More than one zombie right up there. And I'm carrying food. If I check my map, see I'm giving off a small scent radius thing, which isn't good. I got 64. I got a full stack of wood, which is fine. Let's see. Um, back to crafting. Crossbow bolt. What am I missing? Sharp stones. I need 16 separate. Okay. Hit that. Sharp stones. Okay. Now I can make as many as I've got sticks and feathers for. Bang. 50 more. Crafted. Boom. 67. You are starting to get geared up. Um, 
the hides. I don't know if I've learned yet. Can I do? You won't be able to yet. There's a book that'll teach you leather tanning. Um, when you get the book, you'll read the book, you'll learn, and then you can tan. Now you can make, I'll use it as an example. Leather leg armor. User I got pants already. Channel. Let's go leather chest armor. Craft it. And then you go back to your character, put it on. Okay. Now I, I can't help the fact that I already learned the books, but you could have easily came across the book in a garbage pile or something like that. We will simulate that. Just as an example to show you what to do. I turned my volume up just a bit so I can listen in here. It's very important when you smell of dead flesh that you know what's around you. If possible, try to get to some high ground. See what you can see. Thought that was another deer. User joined your channel. Hey Badger, have you logged into Marvel Heroes yet today? You get your daily gift. I will. I will shortly. Maybe. I'm making another how what to do on day one because they muted my other one. Oh. Well, on the second day of Christmas, Marvel <laughs> Heroes gave to me a loot box explosion of currency. Yep, yep, yep. All kinds of Odin box. Oh, Odin say it again. Armor drives, cube shards, eternity splinters, eyes of demon fire. That's a pretty good haul for a freebie. I hope this is helping people. I'm looking for a water source other than the river. But if I don't find one, that may be my only option. But I hate to go back that way. We'll turn a bit towards it, maybe this way. Keeping an eye out. Water. This is what you want. Find yourself a source of water. User left your channel. Don't drink this. It's not good for you. All right, clearing it. Clearing it. Because you can't build on top of grass stuff that's laying around, so clear it. Oh, didn't mean to do that one. I was hitting my buttons too quick. Me, I'll build on the hill so I can see a little bit better. This is just your first domicile. This is not your 
Badger Den. This is not your end-all, be-all. This is just the spot. This is where, because you know night is coming, and you want to make sure you're safe for your first night. Oh, and I broke it. What do we do? We make a new one. Right now, it's cheaper than, than repairing. So we go back to crafting. We go axe, primitive axe. Come on. Stone axe. There we go. Craft. Now it's full. Okay, so now we got time, so we're going to clear this off a bit. I know, I'm getting hungry. As you get hungry and thirsty, it will start to deplete your energy, and it will start to deplete your life. So, yeah, there's that. Get rid of those, those, pick the rocks up, pick the rocks up, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Know your server. If you got shorter day-night cycles, you'll have to do on your first day. You'll have to, you know, maybe gather less. If you're working it and it's going well, keep doing it. thinking I'm hearing something. Dear. Start running because you need that meat. are freaking useless. Let's go back to where we were. We're doing good. Oh, I wasted an arrow. Wasted an arrow. Get the get the right weapon on, not the wrong weapon. All right. Almost got this pretty well cleared off. Cuz anything I want to build on here, it could set on top of these weeds, and that sucks. looks nice. Now to get rid of this. A priest. Hey all, God bless you on the day of the Lord has made. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Welcome back. Aaron, welcome back to you. Enjoying my day. Oh, see the zombie out there? And there, we got neighbors. All right, here's where we go. The 
just looking around real quick. It's four o'clock already. We are almost out of food and drink, which is okay, because we've got a plan for that, hopefully. Hopefully. Build the house. Inventory. You're going to take those logs. You're going to bring them up here. You're crafting. Boom. Now, we need... walls. Shelter, shelter, shelter. Boom. Storage trust wood frames. We're going to need several of those. Right now I'm just going to say get I don't want to get use it all up because I need some of them to solidify. We'll say 64. Okay, there. There's frames. Okay, now you're going to lay your frames out. Looking around. I want a face. We're going to say a 4x4 four four maybe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x5. Five five. 2, Now there's two ways you can do this. You can just use the frames because then when you need to, you can pick them up and out of the way and reuse them. That's an excellent way of surviving as you move on. Or you can fill them in. Okay? For today, and tonight rather, zombies won't see through the frames. User disconnected from your channel. We're going to make three. Now you don't have an overhang, which means you're going to need a roof. Okay. Actually, see, I can pick it right back up. I got enough. No, no, I don't think User I have. User left your channel. No, we'll make this one short, like this. No bees, nothing can get in. Here's your door, look at that. A quick and easy frame. You want to solidify it, you can. When you're first starting out, you might not want to. But well, here's what, one thing you will want to build. You have to leave this behind, though. Here, for right now, for right now, I have to take a quick bio break. Dun, 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 dun. I will be right back. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, here, let me finish my thought here. One of the things you're going to want to build is a chest. So type in chest. You'll leave it behind, but it's only six. Craft it. You're going to put it down on the ground. Why? Because you can put a bunch of stuff in it first and foremost, the meat. Get the damn meat off your, your thing. And I think I'd also put the fat in there. You can pick them back up later. I got fragments. Good, good, good. Okay, second thing you want to build. Remember I kept saving 16 stones? You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you're going to go campfire. C-A-M-P, campfire. Boom, there we go. Boom. Got it. Campfire. Put a campfire down. Now, if I had a pipe, I could make a forge, but I haven't found a pipe. 
and you can't make a forge without the iron you can't make the iron without the pipe or well anyways so it's six of one half a dozen of the other right now there we go so now I can do some cooking of that meat I can go ahead and turn this into hides I can turn the clay into lumps which you use to make mold I can turn the sand into crushed sand I'm just getting rid of things here. Leather and leather, put those together. Now, this is where you make your sleeping bag. You can do it two ways. See, where's my cotton? Here's my cotton. You go one, two, like that, and it makes a cloth fragment, okay? Craft, boom, gives you more cloth. Oh, let me make one more so it's a night and even 20. Cloth fragments, then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at what you made. You made your sleeping bag. Now, I'm not going to put it down because I don't want to respawn here. Well, I could. Yeah, why not? This becomes my new home, though, even though my stuff's on another spot. Boom, there we go. Zombies can't see in a frame. You can see out. When you get done, if you want to travel on, You'll leave the campfire and chest behind, loot the chest, pick your sleeping bag up, and move on. Find another spot, put down your frames again. Find a spot you really like, and there you go. You got yourself, you can refortify this. Now, I'll do one frame the way, to show you what you'd do. Okay, let me find, I'll take that one out so I could shoot out of it if I want. Say, I'll leave this one frame right here. So, you, I've got planks, because you need planks to upgrade. And you'll see here, right there. There, it used two. Now I've double upgraded it. You can upgrade it twice. If I had metal, I could do something more with it, but I, I don't really have. Well, maybe I could add scrap to it. Let's scrap this. Only scrap these cans in even amounts, or it wastes it. Now I have food, and I've got only one water though. The painkillers will help you regenerate life. The berries will help because they also provide uh, liquid. I'll eat the chili. Gives me a little of that back. Drink the water. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to eat the berries. Gives you very little. Not dying at least. All right, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it stay there now. All right. Um, what else? What else? What do you mean can't forage? You're not going to be able to pick a plant? That's weird. I think that would be excessive. Okay, now, uh, cookware I think is a stick. I can take the stick and I can... Oh, I don't have... I do have fuel. Okay, back to here. I can put charred venison. And it'll cook it. It's not the fanciest way. It won't give me the best benefits. I need three minutes of fuel. Each of these is 12 seconds. Five times 12 will be 60. I need 15. I'll actually make it 16 because I'll need a few extra seconds. Once you put it in there, you still got to click cook. If you don't click cook, it's going to waste it. Don't waste your fuel. Now, while it's in the fire, I still don't have a smell symbol. So it's not giving me any problem. I'm going to come here. I'm going to come down to the water. I need a jar, my empty jar. get my jar and it gives me murky water you don't drink murky water you will get a poop symbol a poop anti-buff or a poop debuff rather okay so somebody could see in this way but I can block it off now they're not seeing me 
We've got food cooking. It's going good. Two more minutes. While this cooks, I'm going to go and take a fast bathroom break. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry for that delay. The food is still cooking. Now there's something else I've heard that you can do now, so let's test this out too. One sec. Fortune cookie. You can now put water in your empty tin cans. The fire's out. The venison's cooked. Boiled water, nice and easy. 20 seconds. That's 12, 12, 24, two planks. See how you start using these bad boys up? Oh crap, cook it. Cook it again. See, that's so quick that I had to use another one. I need 40 seconds. Cook. Nope, I gotta add one more. 42. There we go. So cans with... Um, Water become boiled water. Thank you, supple zombie kitten, and it's nice to see you back. Bio, nice to see you. Yes, pots are very useful. Okay, now we're smelling again. Now pay attention to this part. Zoom in. You see the little smell radius? Watch what happens if I put this venison on my belt. Look at the smell radius grow. Three times the distance. Don't keep it on your belt. You need to eat, so put it there. Don't waste it. Take it off your belt. Oh, wait. Nope, not like that. Let's put it back in the chest for right now. It won't spoil, and it takes the smell off of you. boiled the water. Did we get the can back? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, maybe we did.
Yes, we got our cans back. Good. All right, so there you got survival going. All right, do I have... I've got scrap, but I can't make a forge yet. The reason you collected the clay is because even before you get any books, you can learn that uh, if I go if type mold, um, iron ingot mold, your very first one, craft it. So when I can make a forge, I can put the iron ingot in it and turn this metal into iron that I can use for all sorts of stuff. While we still have time, I'll come out here and take out a few more things. This is Badger One on Badger Gaming, discussing what to do on your first day in seven days to die. I'm not using cheats. My friends on the server, they are also not helping. Everybody else seems to have pretty much gone somewhere else. Yeah, it won't let you eat now if you're full. Now, bandages... Another thing that can be useful. That, that one is a healing bandage. It regenerates life over time. This is a simple bandage. And I will... They stack in groups of five. Since I have one, I'll make four more. Sometimes a zombie hits you, and over, over here, where the icons and buffs and debuffs appear, you'll see a bleeding icon. If you don't stop yourself bleeding, you will bleed to death. So in our first day, we've gotten a quick defense set up. A piece of armor made. No, it isn't that fancy. And yes, you'll have to get the book about leather tanning before you can get it. But we'll just say in this particular case you did. And I didn't make a bunch of leather gear. I still have more leather and I could make it. But I showed you what how the process works. Okay. Also, if you start in the desert, collect yucca, yes. Uh, collect yucca and collect aloe. They're, lo they're the, th the little thorny things. I'm not in a desert, so I can't show you. Yucca and aloe. Aloe is good for the healing bandages. Yucca is good as a yucca juice drink. Goldenrod is the most refreshing tea or drink you can make. But you're going to need a pot and jars to boil that in. Oh, it broke. Normally, as I said, we'd like to repair our stuff, but in a new game, that's not quite possible. Cost less. So we go simple. No, not simple. It's primitive. Or... Nope, it's not primitive. Let's go to axe. Let's 
stone axe. Craft. You can kill zombies too. But remember, the more you kill, the more that generates a heat map for them. They want to know who's killing their friends. I'm gathering more wood. You're going to need it. Oh, nice, Joyce. Yeah, you can pick the leaves, or unless they've changed it. I haven't been to the desert recently. I haven't found the desert on this in this version of the server yet. Always keeping an eye out. Now see, since I put the sleeping bag down, that becomes my home on my compass. There is no fishing poles or anything yet. Uh, I will share. Um, it is something I do. Badgers are known for their dens. I'm illustrating to people, though, several methods and stuff that they can do on their first day in the game. One of my favorite is to dig underground. And here, what I would probably do is dig right there. Before I do this, these sides may look square, but you can't put a ladder on them because you're in the same square. You dig three down, you can't jump out of it. If you chop over this way, you're going to crash and mess up your sleeping bag. So this is just a demonstration. If you're out in the open, maybe you spawn on the server and it's like nearly 8 o'clock at night. What you do is you dig down as far as you can, straight down. giving you a useful tip right here. One slim shaft. Now you've hit stone. Chop it up. Now, one other tip. You get on a server, maybe you don't know its rules. You want to check them. You want to learn them. So what you're going to do is you hit T. Brings up the chat.
Bingo. I just typed it out. Hey, if I die here, what do I lose? My tool belt, my backpack, or both? Remember, each server can be different. Some servers, you're going to lose your tool belt right along here. Some servers, you lose your backpack. Some servers, you lose both. You want to know. Thank you. See, guys just mentioned now. So on this server, now I know I lose the tool belt. You be polite. Ask about any rules, even if it says it's a PvP server. Maybe they only allow it in blasted lands. Maybe they have a rule, you know, only PvP during the nighttime hours or whatever. You want to know your rules. You don't want to start building a foundation of survival on a server and get kicked because you didn't pay attention to the rules. Guy, are you on here? Yes, Guy, you're on here. All right, thanks for responding back in the chat room like that. I'm showing the uh, any new players to the game what you do on day one. And one of the things I was pointing out was the fact that you always want to ask out in global chat about any rules if you see other people on. That way you know what rules are on the server you're playing. Thanks for participating in that. You're welcome. So now you know your rules. Let's go back here. Okay. Now we dug this shaft. What the hell are you going to do down here? We can knock it down another one. Get a good maybe two down into the stone. Because then if you want to dig out, you can. You want something above you, though. So what I like to do is I'll dig down, and then I can uh, widen it out a little bit. Now, you see the house up there. Oh, Badger, how will you get up? Well, if you made frames like I did, there we go. Ta-da. Nice and up. Uh-oh, we're about to get overran by a bunch of zombies. Oh, crap. Okay, so you frame up your door. You go, okay, everything's good. Let me let me hit a little bit of food and water. Put one food down here. And I got one jar of water. That water is no good to drink, I remember now. So I got to come back out here with my cans. We got to we got to boil off some more water. That's why you want a water source. Oh, cool. It stuck. made them both. E. Put the cans in there. I need 40 seconds. Which is... 12, 24. 46. Put it back. Hit cook. And now hit inventory. You always want to make sure you put at least one piece up again so something just can't come walking in on you. Now we're going to go through the night. Now on some servers, daytime and nighttime are not equally spaced. Some servers, they are. It all depends. On this particular service, nighttime takes 20% less time. So the nighttime ticker will travel by quicker. The nighttime ticker will travel by quicker. Now I could make this house a little bit more comfy. I could. I can uh, take. Let's type frame again. And go wood frame. Let's give me another 20. Craft. Anymore. There we go. There 
you go, 250. I got one stack left now. Okay, now I'll drink some water. It's kind of cool to do this because you can uh, go like this, drink it. Get your water up there some more there. Look at that. That's a good that's a good drink of water right there. Top it off. And because we're right here. Where'd the cans go? Whoa, the second time we lost them. Oh no, there they are. So now we go back down, we refill them up. We go, don't drink the murky stuff. You will get poopy. I have no antibiotics, so I'm not going to demonstrate the poopy. Okay, so now we'll put these back on. Uh, I'm not, I'm just doing this so I can keep some on me. So I got that. And now I'm going to 40 seconds it. One, two, three, four, eight seconds. Drop it back, say cook. We'll lengthen this up just a little bit now. Take that off. Take that off. Take that off. And that, and that, and that. We'll go up. Two, three, four, five. Pick you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick you. User joined your channel. Welcome. You've got mail. You've got mail. You've got mail. Tell you what, this Triad Wars is freaking badass. There, a little more, little more room, a little Here's roomier, a feels a Sub little better. Third. All right, so now we've got water, we've got food. What's up, man? What are you playing? Triad Wars. I got I grass got fibers. Baby God baby knows, I got that. Had ass. I can move some of that in you? here. Send me a link. Triad Wars. I'll put that back here because I may need to make more axes. T R I A D W A R. On Steam. No. Am I gonna like it, or is this not my type of game? Well, you have to get a closed beta key to be able to play it. He just wants you to feel jealous for him because he's got one. But uh, no. Tim's um, always got trial keys. You know he's like on his six hundred six hundred game. Oh, don't be telling people my business, fool. Fool, pity the fool. I pity the fool. All right, guys. It's, look at this, 7 p.m., sun is going down, without help of friends, we've got water, we've got food, we've found uh, resources, we've got our tools making, so now we're going to spend the night down here, let me see, I want to maybe, uh, now I'll come up and get the food if I need it, so to go back down, we just pick these frames up, there we go, we're back down the shaft, nothing's going to fall deliberately down the shaft, first of all, I'm not making any smell, so they don't know I'm down here. So we've got an axe. Let's continue digging. Anyway, no, it is pretty neat, though. You, like, get your own little gang, and, yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you shoot people, Tim, in it? Shoot? Beat the crap out of somebody? I oh, nice! Tim, I'm a, I'm That's a pretty cool. I in the dude's head. What rest you, Tim? I was beating Supple the crap out of kitten. dude, and I grabbed him Thank you. on the table. I, I have a nice TV. However, if you'd like to get me my 1966 Batman series on DVD, you know, that, I'll take that instead of the TV, the TV and Pretty the uh, cool. Cool, nice chair. Thank you, though. I only get to the 19. The shadows are getting pretty long. I don't know if it's there's a way for me to. Play, I'm trying to think here. Hold on. Can I cook the tallow yet? Can I do something with the tallow? I don't know if I can cook. 
You can use cloth fragments to make a torch. Can I cook animal fat without a pan? I don't think so. Wait. No. No. Let me just try one. Yeah, no. It gave me light, but it doesn't cook anything. I need a pan for that. If I can find, okay, that's what I do. We'll put this back. We're going to go down and dig. If I can find one piece of coal ore, if I can find a piece of coal ore down here, then that will give me torches. If I can find... That's a good question, Bio. Where's my water at? Ah, it's too it's too far up. I don't want to waste one of the cans. Tim, you wanna play some rust with me? No, I'm playing Triad Wars. I told you what I was playing. Can you just play some rust with me, Tim? Right now, no. Oh, come on. I only got to Tim, come on, today. you never hang out with me. I don't really stay on long though. That's why. It is good to hear you again though, Tim. Thanks. Thank you. Are you playing Seven Days to Die? Right now? No, your friend. Oh, he, I think he has it, yes. I have it. Well, you can play that. You do the same stuff in Seven Days to Die as you do in Rust. Eh, I like... I don't know, I was going to play Rust, the older version. Because I like blowing up people's doors and robbing them and stuff. Ah, uh, well, there is that, I guess. What was that? I said, well, there is that. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. That's the part of the game that I like is raiding people in it. Because it's the game meant for that. Uh, our server is a PvE server, so robbing people would get you banned. No, yeah, and no, I played in your server before. I have stuff. should break here shortly. Next. We'll spend the night mining. You don't sleep in this game, so we can... Let me see what all we need to make torches. We need tallow. We need cloth. We need that. Tallow plant fibers are that, or a lump of coal. So we're going to go stone and say stone axe and craft another. I'm going to go two direct, two in all directions. Facing directly east. This is the second one going in this direction. Like right now, I'm getting ambushed by a bunch of uh, triads. So I have to take them out. There you go. Nothing there. Because I got the game miscreated. Huh? Uh, oh! Your friend, Tim. Grip, thank you. You startled me, but I appreciate your befriending me. Thank you very much. I am Badger One. I am demonstrating what you do on day one in Seven Days to Die. I've deliberately killed myself. I am not getting the help of my friends or any of my gear. I destroyed or put away my back, uh, my uh, sleeping bag from where I was. And I am... That's east. That's... I hope I get a car and stuff, though. I mean... Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the lighting on here is tricky. It's getting darker up there, too. What? Oh, 
Hold on, I got cops on my butt. Hold on. You got cops in your butt? What? Yeah, I have to take them out. Oh, that's some gravel. <laughs> that's gravel. Wait. That shadow is killing me, man. I think I see what I want, though. Gravel is often near. That looks Hi, like... I survived the ambush. Yes, coal ore. Nice. Pretty cool. We got coal. All right. One piece of coal. Coal ore turns into 10 lumps of coal. And then when I get Don't my make dirt, 10 torches. They now count and, uh, individually. It'll fill your inventory guess, up. My, one stick, uh, one lump. Crafts. Bam. Torch. Put the torch up. somewhere down here. There we go. We'll replace you. We don't need you down here. Look at that. Now... We can place this. I notched this back a bit so I can place that down here. There we go. We got a little light. And we know coal is over here, so we're going to dig more this way. I'm Badger, baby. I'm sexy and lucky. Booyah! Welcome to Badger Gaming. I am your host, Badger One. We are a family gaming channel. Uh, we've been teaching our children gaming all their lives. They are now grown. We have four grown children. We started out with Dungeons and Dragons, Champions, and Boot Hill, various role-playing games. As they grew into adults, computer gaming took off, and we played as a family every major MMO and various RPGs as a family all across the Internet. Has anybody heard of sleeping dogs? I usually let them lie. No, the game? No. Oh, wow. It's really popular. But anyway, it was made by them creators. That is... That's lead. I don't want lead. That's not lead. That I could use. Let's widen this out. That's all right. I've got more coal and I've got more sticks. By the way, did you... Yes, I did, Grip. I've got it right here beside me on the in its case still. Here, I'll show you. Ugh, heavy case, big case, Samson case. Look at that sucker. It's big. Ooh, look at that. I haven't put it to, put it out yet because the boom ships separately and it's still on its way here. We met Oh, damn it, my goal thing is off again. One second. This keeps going off and I don't know why. It's on, and then it goes off. There it is. There it's back. Um, we met that goal, so I'm just waiting for the boom to arrive. Once the boom arrives, I will be hooking it all up. And it'll go right back overhead and come right down here in front of me. With the pop filter. Ooh, yeah. Got the pop filter. I've been wanting a good microphone for some time because I've done radio work, I've done voiceovers, I've done commercials. I had a commercial last year that aired nationwide for six months. Um, I've got, I've got the voice. And I clown around with it, but I've always enjoyed what, what I've been able to do with my voice. What is this?
Thank you, Grip. It is a nice quality. Oh, careful there. You got to be careful digging right up on, on above you because you can get cave-ins. Now, I'm not going to dig way up again because what happens? You'll have weakened the structure and your stuff up there will collapse upon you. All right? So now, I've dug this way a bit. I don't see any more coal this way, but there's ore, so we'll, we'll work on getting some of that ore out. Maybe there's more coal in the immediate vicinity. Lead is good for bullets, bullet tips, not for weapons. The commercial was for the um, Software Alliance organization. It had to do with um, companies using pirated software and the fact that it is not a victimless crime and it hurts companies and they can be fined for it. Hello? What up, Tim? Was that you again? No, I've been here. Oh, I was saying hi to whoever joined. Yeah, somebody else just joined. Hello to whoever popped in. That's a huge bitch! That's a huge bitch! You go, Eddie Griffin. That can Pretty only be one person. Food. That's only one person I know. Candy Mountain, Candy Mountain, you fill me with sweet sugary goodness. Hello, Manny. Uh, they muted my other first, what to do on your first day in uh, seven days, so I'm making a new one. What did you do that for? I don't know. I don't think when I did it, I don't believe that there was any music in the background. Wait, check it out on... Wait. No, because Steam will still be linking it to YouTube. Whatever. I'm still making another one. We are in the Did middle of my first night. Did oh, you yeah. Did you upload it to YouTube? Oh, yeah, a long time ago when I first made it. Well, go watch on YouTube. It is muted. People have told me. And uh, Kaysen saw it, too. But even the one on YouTube? The one on YouTube is muted, yeah. What? That's or or stone. I don't think it's coal. Might be though. The commercial was I. Uh, I've already mentioned that the Software Alliance Company. This looks like gravel. Yep, that was gravel. That is coal. Wait, let's take this piece out here. I like my smooth edges. Thank you. As long as I got my frames, I can get out of the holes. That's iron right there. Now the problem becomes, if you start getting stuff on top of you, you can uh, cause a cave-in. 8.30. It's not quite pitch black up there. We'll go back up in a bit. This is iron. This may take quite a while with this stone axe.
So I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, this is what you do on your first day in seven days to die. You want to survive? Badger knows. Badger's got your tactics here. We scavenge the, the top side. We got sticks, stones, plant fibers. Yeah. Made, made our Jungle primitive. <laughs> made our primitive axe. We then found a camp spot. Along the way, we were chopping down logs. We then used frames. Made a house. Four frames. I think I did a five square house. Why? And I did. I only filled in one frame to show you what you do for filling in frames. It's different. But by leaving it as frames, you can pick it back up in the next day when you go to adventure on. There we go. That is coal ore. Good deal. I got one torch there. I can move it. That makes that hole. Whoa, that's very dark up there now. Oh no, there's the light. Okay. All right, so let's put it down here. You can move the torch around. And you see, it's still got plenty of burn, burn left. I don't know if I moved it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe not so much. This is potassium right here. It's used to make antibiotics, which you won't get to do anytime soon unless I got lucky. And it's used to um, make gunpowder. Yeah, I know, but you can't get the iron pipe unless you just find one. Because to get an iron Even pipe, you, you forge game? iron. You take oh. forged iron and turn it into... Pretty cool. Turn it into Playing the plates. Rocks. And then you take the plates and turn it into pipes. And then you can take the pipes and turn it into strips, actually. Which is used for repairing metal weapons and gear. I've shown you how to take your primitive weapon, how to do the dance, run in, hit, back out, run in, hit, back out, keeping yourself out of their range. I have cleared entire hordes by doing that with a stone freaking axe. Takes a lot. You just have to have an open area and keep what's called situational awareness. Know what is around you. Know if they're coming in from the from back or wherever so that you can, can react properly. It's almost nine at night. We'll pop back up and see how things are going. And in the meantime, we've got a nice starter. A starter. Uh, no, I need to move the torch if I'm going to go up. Can't lay the crates on top of a torch. Also, you can't attach a torch to gravel that looks like that. It won't. It'll fall, break, and you lose it. So. Put it on wood. Yeah, see, they just gave me a see, little area. It's stuck to the wood. Or the cement, like not to the gravel. All right, so now I can go there, come back here. Now, also, by moving over here, look at my map. I'm now coming like outside. I'm under. If I zoom in, am I zoomed in? Yes, I am. I am un under my house, but I'm heading away from it. So they'd have to dig straight down, you know, not just. They're not going to mess with the house because I'm not directly under it right now. And now we'll use the crates. I'll get up. There we go. We can look around, see what's going on. It's dark enough now that if zombies come, they're going to be fast. All right, I'm going to take one of these quickly. Because remember, now it smells. Eat. And I'm going to drink. 
There we go. Now I'm going to use that empty can to see if I can make some tallow. I just lost the can. Ah, uh, Jesus. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I just wasted a con. Okay, let's go back to the crate. Let's put the, uh, no, not the last can away. Let's, let's clean some of that. I got 46 iron fragments. I can't use the potassium right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tiny Drew, thank you. Thank you for startling the crap out of me. Thank you for your friendship and befriending the badger tip of the hat to you uh, let's see we'll put the egg away um, now it wouldn't let me put it there I'll try it I've got two more cans I can use I'll put the stick away no it's not letting me put it there the stick back now here's a tip for you when you're chopping down trees you'll get seed when you find a base that you want to call your home a little more permanently use those seeds plant them nearby so you can harvest the trees harvest the trees get more seeds plant more trees you'll have a, a good good supply of lumber oh, I know what I'll do I'll take some blueberries at the moment I'll top myself off a little bit a very little bit. Come on. There we go. What else do we want to put away in here? Um, we'll put the dirt in there. Let's go to inventory. Let's make a few more planks. Or no, let's make That'll give me some more sticks. Now we go um, C-R-O-S-S, -S, crossbow bolt. Now, if you want to make the most you can, you hold shift. You hold shift, click it. Gives me 48. Craft. Boom. So now I'm getting some armament up there, which is good. I got 12 more feathers. We may as well make them. So I'll take 12 more stone. There we go. Craft it. And I need one more plank. Craft for three more sticks. That'll give me one extra stick. Go back to bolt, shift tab. There's all 12. It helps to free up some space. It got rid of the feathers and it got rid of the sharp stones. Gravel I'll put away in the crate. Oh, it's dark, dark now. I can get more light if I want. I can uh, put that like that, make that like that, like that. I actually didn't bring any additional light. Shows what I know. definitely don't want to leave that open just in case of bees it is day six day seven would be Ooh, how many people are on just me and guy 
day seven is a super horde day. Uh, 60, maybe <coughs> up to 100 plus. Badger? Yep. The street lamps uh, don't work. All right. We can take them down. Sad. Hey, tomorrow, uh, it's day six right now, so tomorrow will be day seven, Super Horde Day. If the Super Horde comes to me as I'm demonstrating this to people trying to get through the night, uh, I'm going back underground. Because they will trash the shit out of frames. But even if it's a Super Horde, even if I, you know, hardened it, they'd trash the crap out of all of it. What do you mean you're going underground? <laughs> Well, I, I'm demonstrating what to do on your first day. And if, if your first day happens to be a day of a super or mega horde and you see them running and they start beating on your stuff, you need to get out of the line of sight. You need to get down underground quickly. Oh, I thought you were talking about real life or something. <laughs> okay, what else? Keep the coal. Keep the ore. We know now because we asked what you keep if you die. I'm not putting the meat back on because it makes a smell radius. Cotton, uh, I can craft all the cotton into strips. Why not? That'll help save room. Inventory. Cloth. Cloth fragment. Shift 10 more. Craft it. Gives me 20. It leaves one. We'll put that in the crate. Leather, what else can I make? Why well, I've got it. Leather, leather, leather. Leather boots. Leather gloves, leather hat. We'll do leather boots. go inventory go to character drop them on clicked clicked there we go I can make a leather headpiece leather leg armor strips. What are leather strips used for? <coughs> oh, fudge. I barely got lucky with that one. What are leather strips good for? Not sure. I don't really use them, so I never thought about it. There we go. Uh, leather gloves I don't have. I messed that up, didn't I? I needed two. I don't have two. Oh, I can get cloth gloves. Cloth gloves. Craft. Put those on. Better than none. Oh, no, no, no. I do have leather gloves. Okay. Okay. Not bad. So we open up this chest. Now remember, the chest will be being left behind when we leave. User joined your channel. Welcome. Howdy. Howdy. See, it's already five something in the morning. The, the nighttime is moving faster. All right, so we're going to come down here, and we're going to spend our last night here digging up quick, um, getting some stuff out of here if we can. To 
repair leather armor. That makes sense. Okay, so I got five strips for repairing it. See, it's already six o'clock. Look at it moving. Guy, are you still in the game? Yes, I am. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a track on you so I can get back to where the uh, main camp is. So I'll still be demonstrating stuff to them, but I'm gonna head that way. Since I laid a sleeping bag down, it won't let me. Uh, you know, I don't have my old place to call home. That's metal. That's coal. No, that's metal. <laughs> Sir, Sir Raffig, thank you. Strength and honor to you and yours. Happy holidays to all. Hanging out with the Badger. This is, we're past the seven hour mark in today's broadcast. I've uh, been trying to illustrate to people, I started back out completely fresh, no cheats, no nothing, deliberately died, had my friend shoot me with a rocket launcher. And uh, I'm showing, come on, break. So you would say this game is kind of like GTA, kind of. A little there different, and it's Chinese. And that's 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 ore, coal ore. <sighs> Inventory, craft, search stone, stone axe. Booyah, Joyce! I don't know how that works when someone follows you. Oh, okay, I'll show you. Oh, shit. Okay, one small stone. Sharpened. Okay, now we can do it. Stick, plant fiber, got it. Crafted. Really? Hello. You know. Oh, never mind. Same didn't come up. Dang it. I gotta talk to him real quick. There we go. User that, left your channel. And that. And that. Should have done it automatically. All right, let me let me get this coal. Finish getting that. It's almost seven a.m. and we'll take off here shortly. I will refill my jar and uh, cook up another water. do is it, but I'm not seeing my backpack on my oh yeah this there's my old backpack okay that's where I died at we'll start heading in that direction I, I wasn't seeing it one of my viewers was nice enough to friends was nice enough to point out to me that uh, I do have my old backpack still sitting over there so I'll use that to center in on but guy I'm still gonna click on follow you as well because some people haven't done that before so I'll demonstrate how that works I'm uh, right on top of the uh, barn. All right, keeping it safe. You. That's very kind of you to say. We are a family gaming channel. We've been gaming with our family since they were children. Originally with games like Dungeons and Dragons, Champions, and the Western role-playing game called Boot Hill. See, those are cave-ins, and you don't want to be under them. All right, it's 7.08. Now, the way you follow somebody, you hit your map. 
you look at your friends list people you've made friends with on this server you scroll down there's guy I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna say track friend it says now tracking guy so if I turn around on my compass oh look that green dot that's guy wait yep the blue dot is my backpack which they're right over top of each other hey guy head over by head over by um, Kaysen's place a second user disconnected from your channel oh maybe he got disconnected so we know what direction we're going to be going Yes, Dodger. I appreciate that. If you could just head over to Kaysen's for just a second, I'm illustrating what happens when you're tracking a person. Okay, sure. Now, it may not show much right now because we may be at such a distance that it won't really move much on the compass. I'm playing on top of this um, house. Okay. Now, by tracking him, I know it's in this direction that I'm facing, so I can move yeah, the map. Up, I'm up on top. Holy butt. I am, oh my God, this is going to be a demonstration and a half. Shit. Uh, okay. Um, wow. 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 We're not going to waste a lot of time. And that's the direction map. I'm looking that way. Okay, that way. Up there. I know where that area is. There you are, guy. Oh, my God. I thought I was gonna, I thought I was going to go in a way different direction. Cool. Okay, so I need to be hauling my ass west. Okay, so now, thanks, guy. You can go ahead and do whatever you were doing. What we've done here is we've got a mine. We okay. dug a mine, okay? I'm going to take my torch because it's daylight upstairs. Take my torch. Get those damn shadows again under me. And we're going to go up. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to effing do this is. There's All right, a... I got a cock fight now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't see that coming. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. Daylight's out. Daylight's out. All right. Um, I could leave the sleeping bag here. It is a good idea, I guess, since uh, the chest is here. I'm going to eat some food, making two more tin cans, and get some water with me. Let me. Let me. Let's get this going here. Eat. That's enough for at least one more can of food. Put that there. It doesn't smell. It's canned. There we go. We're gonna. We're going to drink. There we go. So that now we'll have three cans of water. We're not eating the poopy water. Okay. Everything looks good. I'm still gonna leave this like this for the moment. We're gonna come down here. I'm going to take the three cans, fill them with water. Water sources are hard to come by. There we go. This was our house. This was our shelter. We survived the night. First night, easily done. There's the stick. We put the waters in here. That's one minute. So we need one, two, three, four. Five, six, ten seconds left. Five, four, boom. You got to put it away and then click cook. Sixty seconds. Looking around. I'm going to leave that like that. 
The chest will stay. The campfire stays. I can pick up the sleeping bag. Now, when you disassemble your frames, start from the top. Two reasons. One, if you start from the bottom, stuff will collapse and break and you lose a lot of them. Second reason, if as you're disassembling stuff, you notice zombies coming, you can leave up whatever defenses you still have up. I mean, why suddenly destroy everything and all of a sudden you got zombies all around you? Now remember, when we pick up that cooked food in this chest, we're going to have a scent again. That's the last thing you pick up. Gives us the frames for what? That's right, for making a new fort. Now, when it's this way and all of a sudden you see a horde, you start lowering, 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 and you go underground. Okay? You've got a nice cleared area here. There you go. You left behind one block, you left behind a chest. You left behind a sleeping bag. If I die, I will respawn here now. E. Uh, and I've got my weapon. I've got my stuff. I will take with me. I got enough of that. I'm going to take with me the venison, but that's the last thing. I'll leave the cloth. I don't need the bandages. That cloth can stay. The mold I've got ingots I've got, stone I've got, chicken, and I picked the chicken up. I forgot my own rule to make it the last thing. I'm going to take the waters. One, two, put one down there, three, and we're moving. Now because I was tracking somebody, I know we're heading west. Now look, what did we leave? Nothing. Nothing couple of things. And if I came back and it was late when I died, I could just duck right down that hole and then build my fortress up, uh, you know, peek out of the hole, build a level, stand up, build a level more. I've got my weapon in my hand. I am smelling, but the, the smell is less because it's on my bag and not in my hand or my tool belt. Taking more feathers. We're still picking up stuff. You keep whoever you're tracking or your backpack in the center top of your in the center top of your um, compass. Now, what's your objective? My objective is to get somewhere. Say you've got a friend on the server, and you're like, "Okay, I got to get over there. They can help me survive." Strength in numbers, all of that. So what you do is you start heading towards them. I could be picking up more cotton, but I just left a bunch of stuff. You know, why do I need that? You know, that's similar to the stuff I left behind. 